Well, I'm ready to tackle the iron chip iron. And uh, to be honest, I'm not quite sure what I want to do about this. So, first thing I want to do is take this apart. I do see uh, Stanley Wool and Level Company trademark stamped on theirs. I noticed that this plane iron is bent, and I suspect what happened was it, the plane got dropped at one point. Uh, fortunately, it's straight all along up to the cutting edge from that point. But I think I'm gonna try to straighten this out a little bit in the vise before I reassemble it. Now, if you wanna continue cleaning up the surface, especially if you had as much rust on there as I did, you can still use the sandpaper trick and run that iron across the sandpaper so you can see how that's cleaning up and the, the Stanley Rule Level Company stamp is pretty prominent now. You're not trying to get it flat, you're just trying to clean it up a little bit at this point. The only part that really needs to be flat is about the last eighth inch at the cutting edge. So uh, don't be afraid too to take a little piece of sandpaper. So I got some of these areas that are still uh, a little bit dirty. So I'm just going to take a little sandpaper by hand and we'll kind of clean up those particular spots. I think that's uh, pretty good on that side and I'm really happy with how that turned out there. So I'm going to follow the same process with the cap iron and uh, we'll see you back here when I get that done. Got the cap iron cleaned up. Uh, it's ready to go and uh, the iron cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and try to straighten that and sharpen it before we put it to use, of course. But in the old time, I can go ahead and assemble, reassemble the plane. Now, we've already cleaned everything, so we make making sure that all the mating surfaces where the parts go together do not have any sawdust or chips or anything like that that would interfere with a tight fit. Let's go ahead and put the adjustment knob back on the frog. Now, before I get too involved with this, you may think I'm crazy, but I've had some flames that are trying to disassemble before that were just there, almost impossible to take apart because the screws have seized up. In order to avoid that in the future, or especially for the next guy that wants to take this plane apart, I'm just gonna put just a little bit of oil on those threads. So we're ready to Put the frog back in place now. First thing I need to do is put the tab that allows you to adjust the mouth opening. Put that back on. 